hello guys so in the last video we saw that uh, how we can add products and populate the database and also how we can delete the products and uh, yet we can have a full functional database today is the most interesting part where we will uh, add uh, we will do the sorting like when we sort things the value should per persist if, even if we refresh so let's get started to do this we need the sort item to have an identity so we will give here an id which will be the task id if you refresh click on inspect you can see that we have the id over here one two four five seven right it's great and we uh, uh, we have to handle if anything any event of sorting occurs uh, we can do this over here we can add uh, a handler let's say alert and we have two variables in our hand one is item item plus let's give a, I'm sorry let's give give a gap in the middle and position position okay okay so if we do the dragging XR oh <laughs> it should be plus yeah two three so when we drag the first one is item and second one is position so item is this this item and position is on what position we have put it into like let's say if i move this so the item is four we have delete, deleted the three on the last video if we move it on to the very top let's see what we get so four to very top so the item is four and the position is zero so we can understand that the index it's showing to us starts from zero okay now let's handle it on our liveware and because we can do anything by alerting things right let's do it so we have a magic uh, function named wire and let's say we i gave the name sword item and here i will pass two parameter one is item and mm -hmm. and there is position position right okay sword item so let's make it here Mm, on our component public function sort item and we have the item and current position so let's name it like task id so task equal to task model I have renamed it over here because the same name with my component and we get the previa, previous or no I think it should be named as it should be first of all I should name it like the current position is the task position position and this is new position okay so now let's do the work so let me make this thing understand that what we have to do when we move this one down one two so visually what we can see that one position has changed changed this one's position is from one to three and this two's position has gone from two to one and three to two so this two has decremented and this one has changed right we will do this right now but before we have to check that if the current position position is equal to new position then return we don't want to do anything if the current position is equal to the new position but 
what if it's not okay so uh, let's do it uh, first of all we're gonna take the task and we will update it its position not to new position we will move it outside <laughs> we don't need it right now we have to deal with those two so we have tasks which needs to be shifted shifted so what we need is task model where between between the position uh, this is from so we need the position between the current position and the new position right it's right because uh, current position and new position let's say current position is 1 and new position is 3 yeah we can uh, if this query will work but sometimes the current position is 3 and the new position is 1 and at that time this query will fail because we need to have the minimum value here and the maximum value over here so to do that we can use simple php mean so we get the minimum value of these two value and maximum value of these two value so uh, we get uh, the actual uh, we make the query worked if we do this the correct way and we get the things which to be shifted but now the real question is things uh, the things should be shifted to down or things should be uh, shifted to up yes, you see if, if we drag this down these two are, are moving up right and if we move this up other two is moving down so we have to write this if if the current position is 1 over here and 3 over here so uh, if assuming current equal to 1 and uh, new position is equal to 3 means we are moving down so if current position uh, position is less than the new position uh, I don't know I have written it right po Poston what is this position <laughs> let me <laughs> fix this one right new position okay so if the current position is uh, less and the new position is down uh, more then we have to uh, sh shift things uh, down because we have to decrement it right we, these two are going up that means decrementing so mm, this task which is to be shifted should be decremented position else increment the position and lastly we have we have to update this position task update the position is not exactly the new position it will be new position plus one because the index starts from zero but in our case it doesn't so let's have our fingers crossed and chip oh my god what is this one two three four five seems like it's okay let's drag this down oh wow <laughs> what is this uh, builder decrement it's net <laughs> no, that's not right 
decrement uh, okay one two three four five sorry so let's try fingers crossed seems like it didn't one three two three four five uh, let's see okay guys so I found out the problem which was the new position was on index but we have uh, like one two three four five rather than zero one two three four right so uh, if we use zero one two three first positioning it, the code should work but now as the new position has changed so the new position is equal to new position plus one I think it should work now I haven't tried it uh, this uh, I think this should work now seems everything is looking great so if we pull this down wow awesome it's working everything is working drag and drop is working and this database is also populating so one two three four five if we remove uh, should take here he here and refresh it's working a new task to the top refresh it's working so yeah this way we can do it thank you